what is good yo it's your boy time back here with another video shout out to my guy dfs for letting me hop on his account to do peak diamond mystery rick smith's gameplay now i'm not gonna sit here and compare him to taco fall but man they, he is an off-brand taco fall i don't want to compare the cards already but stat wise at least he is an off-brand taco fall now before we dive into pink diamond rick smith's his stats his badges all of that stuff if you are new to my channel and have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 68,000 subscribers look at rick smith's here seven feet four 250 pounds, 98 three ball, and 80 driving dunk. Now, he can't really handle the ball, but neither could Taco Fall. 85 block, 90 interior defense, and even his perimeter defense at a 74 isn't the worst. Good rebounder, 77 speed, 69 two ball, 77 lateral quickness. Decent enough speed considering he is 7 feet 4. 95 driving dunk tendency. Looking at his defensive tendencies here, uh, 85 pass interception tendency, 70 all ball steal, 97 contest shot and block shot tendencies. 27 Hall of Famers, pick and popper, relentless finisher, does come with rim protector, box, heart crusher, intimidator, moving truck, rebound chaser, postal block, down tie, spinner, trap, or worm. You guys can see all the Hall of Fame defensive badges he has, Hall of Fame contact finisher, pro touch, hot zone hunter, as well as Hall of Fame brick wall. Now, the Hall of Fame brick wall is such an important badge, and I'm, I'm honestly super, super glad that he has that on Hall of Fame. 10 gold badges, break starter, chasing artist, clamps, interceptor, as well as bailout, flexible, hot start. Now, I would definitely look to give him catch and shoot corner specialist. Those are the first two badges I personally would look to give Rick Smith. Now, again, if you want to give him range extender and really go crazy with him, then he could be an absolute sharpshooter. But, you know, with his base card only having a 78 three ball, I don't know how many threes I am going to be taking with Rick Smith. Now, one of the first things that I personally noticed when Rick Smith came out are the lack of hot spots, right? You see it none from outside the arc, which kind of it makes his hall of fame hot zone hunter useless right i don't want to sit here and say that rick smith can't green uh because he has one of the easiest releases to time in the game but i'm just gonna sit here and say if he had hot spots for out here watch out because you guys see as much as i'm greening without any hot spots i mean it's kind of impressive actually to see how truly good his release is and just to know right just to know deep down is if he had hot spots from everywhere or even simply you know from the corners if he came with catch and shoot corner specialist just how good he would be now again if you give him the right shoes the right badges he's going to be just fine even without hot spots like he is going to be able to knock down consistent shots again i probably won't shoot that many threes in the gameplay uh just simply because it's rick smith right i don't expect him to be you know a pure sharp or anything like that what i do expect is rick smith to be a cheese ball right i don't know how many post hooks i'm gonna shoot with the card so if you're looking for a post hook gameplay i don't know if this is the place but what i can show you guys is how cheesy he can be as a primary ball handler now again I, I don't know how many of you guys are looking for that but that's just part of it you give him you know the badges he needs and as a primary ba ball handler i think rick smith can be tough just like we use taco fall is just how i'm planning on using this rick smith but i will say i'm greeting a lot more with rick smith than i ever did with taco fall my opponent here is running a very intriguing lineup with rondo at the two he has grant hill rondo brandon ingram julius rando and a disney so not a terrible lineup but i mean 80 is only six foot ten rick smith is seven feet four i pray that eventually 2k takes away custom courts because this is awful i hate playing on courts like this like it's just it, what is what is the point i just want to play on a normal basketball court it just takes away from my experience as a whole imagine me not getting the ball to rick smith here come here oh yeah jr into big rick imagine you getting a stop on rick smith you're rondo man i know you're not getting a stop on big seven foot four rick smith oh you're gonna attack him on defense that's a bold strategy it's very intriguing strategy now he doesn't have hall of fame clamps but what else, what else do you want out of Rick Smith, quite honestly? Oh, yeah. Burst to the cup. Imagine backing down. Ah, 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 ah. Let's see. Can you score over Julius? All right, that's fine. That's a late. If I had timed that better, I pro it probably would have went in, honestly. Chill. Get it to Big Rick. Oh, I hit the wrong icon. That's fine. Back to him. Come here. Oh, yeah, go get it. Oh, my goodness. Go get it. Throw it up to the big fella. Come on, he's seven foot four. He shouldn't even have trouble going up and getting any sort of lobs. 
Good lob in there to Rick Smith. And I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe it's just a rough start. But I don't know if he moves as well as it's my Taco did to start it off. Like, I felt like Taco moved and grew. Not to say Rick Smith can't. But that's what they're, we're in the process of figuring out. Okay. All right, then, Rick. All right, then, Rick Smith. Show me something. Hey. Look at Rick Smith. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Come here. Imagine he can't he's had no answer for the pick and roll he, now something I just thought of is that Rick Smith doesn't have quick first step So when you use him like I'm trying to use him without quick first step, it's gonna be pretty difficult Okay, that's just the way it is So in this gameplay, it's not gonna be as smooth because I don't have quick first step on my Rick Smith And if you want to use him like I'm trying to use him He definitely definitely needs quick first step like that's just such an important badge for any type of center that you're trying to make plays with. It's not like he's going to score over Rick. So I should have just stayed, stayed composed and chilled. Oh yeah, Rick. Even without quick first step, you guys can see the 7-4 frame on display. And I'm saying, right now, he doesn't even have quick first step. Oh yeah, Rick. You know what to do with it. Ah. It's too easy. It's too easy. That's a great look. I don't know if you'll knock it down. There you go. Good shot, Kawhi. I'm not going to sit here and lie. He is hooping. It's fine. I mean, it's just too easy. It's just, oh, yeah, Rick. Oh, yeah, Rick. Seven foot four. First quarter-wise, Rick Smith was good. It just took me a little bit figuring out what the issue was. Once I figured out it's quick first step, I'm not really too worried anymore. I know what Rick Smith is gonna give me. It's too easy of a it's too easy of a bucket. You can't off ball that you gotta on ball and try to predict what direction I'm gonna go. Even without quick first step, he can still go get you a bucket. Rick, oh yeah, show me that butter release from mid-range. Hey, there the Hall of Fame hot zone hunter was able to get used from midi. Eight of nine so far for Rick Smith. Can you back up? Oh yeah, Rick to the cup. Hey, another easy two-handed slam. And even without quick first step, just because he's seven foot four, he just moves differently. My board, my board. Imagine you thinking you're grabbing a board over Rick. Come on. And that's just too easy. I mean, it's just too easy offense. I didn't get that one to go there, but you guys can see it's just easy offense every single possession. And to Rick, can he get a stop with A. Disney? Nope. 64%. But it doesn't matter for Big Rick Smith. That's a good shot, Rick. I know it didn't go in, but I want I just wanted to test out your release a little bit more. Oh man. <clears throat> Ah, right, yeah, give me a stop. Go give me a stop. Hey, you know what, Rick? It's impossible to guard him. What are you going to do? How are you going to guard him? He just finished that over Obi Toppin, and I know he is exhausted on the court. And I know he needs a break. We'll get him that break here in just a little second. But right now, and for me, it's like, how am I supposed to get him a break when he is hooping like this? I dare you. Come on, man. Come on, stop playing with JR like I can't dot, man. I can't be dot, man. 23, 3, and 3 so far for Rick. Having no issues right now with my opponent. Hey, one more to JR. You know what to do with it. Look at JR Smith, level 40 reward. He is going crazy right now, and so is Rick Smith. My board. You know, oh, that should have came to Rick. Oh, yeah, Rick. Oh, yeah, Rick. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Can Donovan Mitchell just chill out? Like, I'm not even trying to do too much. He's got five assists now in the game. Sometimes I just wonder about this game, bro. See the Hall of Fame brick wall? You ain't, you ain't even set a screen, Rick. Really? That's my fault, man. And that's the thing. Without hot zones and with not a super high three ball, it's just going to be tough to consistently knock down, knock down threes with the guard. It is. Hey, there's no way. He literally just got out of a jump animation. 
We're going to get Rick a lot of rest here in the second half, but 23 points, three rounds, five assists in the first half. Half of his four misses have been from behind the arc. I put in David Robinson, and in the third quarter, we did get a quit when I got up 19 points, but even in the first half, an unbadged Rick Smiths did his thing. Now, my big thing is this. Rick Smiths played 10 minutes, had tw around 25 points, five assists, three rebounds. Now, here's the thing. He's a pink diamond, right? So that means how many badge spots? He has five badge spots. You're going to have to use these badge spots if you want to play Rick Smith. Because here's the thing. If you want to give him range extender, if you want to give him quick first step, if you want to give him showtime, those are things that, you know, you not necessarily need, but catch and shoot court specialists like, you need to use those five badge spots. I know Taco Fall doesn't come with quick first step either, but he comes with unpluckable. So if you're trying to use these guys as primary ball handlers, I, and I'm not even going to compare him to Taco anymore because he is so rare, but if you're trying to use Rick Smith as like a, cent, a point center, which you can do, he definitely does need quick first step. He needs quick first step. You need to probably put a three-point shoe on him. You need to give him range extender. You need to give him catch and shoot. You need to give him quarter specialist. You need to give him quite a few badges. But at the end of the day, you can definitely have a lot of success with Pink Diamond Rick Smiths. And if you, I mean, are the type of, of guy to, to shoot a lot of post hooks, I mean, he has Hall of Fame deep hooks. He has a good post hook. I'm pretty sure. I don't even know where to find post hook. A 95 post hook. So if that's the type of player you are, Rick Smiths is for you. For me, he's not even a top 10 center. And he, he's not even... I guess you could compare him to Taco Fall, but Taco Fall is quite a bit better with Rick than Rick Smith. He just truly is, as far as a base card is concerned. Yeah, I think Taco Fall is just that little bit better when it comes down to it. But Rick Smith is not bad at all in NBA 2K21. He just has to spit your specific play style. So that is going to wrap it up for my Rick Smith gameplay. Comment down below. Do you guys think Rick Smith is a top 10 center? Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.